I'm Atala. And I'm Prashant. And we are Cloud Support Engineers here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, we will be showing you how to find who created your EPS volumes and how they were created by using AWS Compact Service and AWS CloudTrail. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console. Then select volumes on the left hand side. Here you can see all the Amazon Elastic Block Store volumes in your account. Choose the EBS volume that you want to find information about. Copy the volume ID. Next, navigate to the CloudTrail console in a separate tab. Then select the event history page. By default, the filter field is set to read only and its value is set to false. Let's change the filter field to event name and then enter the event name create volume. By looking at this event, we can identify that this user created the EBS volume. If the EBS volume was created during EC2 launch, you can use the EC2 instant ID to view CloudTrail logs for run instances. Navigate to the EC2 console. Then select volume on the left hand side. Here you can see all EBS volumes in your account. Choose EBS volume that you want to find information about. Copy the volume ID. Navigate to the CloudTrail console in another tab. Then select the event history page. By default, the filter field is set to read only and its value set to false. Let's change the filter field to resource name and then enter the volume ID. The results show no hits for this event for this volume ID. This means that we cannot determine who and how this EBS volume was created. Finding the instance ID using AWS Config. Now, let's navigate to AWS Config Console in another tab. Then, select Resources. Under Resource Type, choose AWS EC2 Volume. Under Resource Identifier, paste the volume ID that you want to identify. Select the Regio button and choose Resource Timeline. Here, you can see the events which display CloudTrail event and configuration change sections. Next, expand the configuration change section. Choose View for Record. Here, the full record of configuration change will appear, along with the relationship with other resources. In the Relationships tab, we can see the relationship between this volume and an EC2 instance. This tells us that EBS volume was created during an EC2 launch. We can copy the instance ID from here and find how and who created the EC2 instance and EBS volume using CloudTrail. Navigate to CloudTrail console in another tab. Then select the event history page. We are going to change the filter field to resource name. Then we will enter the instance ID that we found earlier. Looking for run instances event, then expand it. By looking at this event, we can identify that this user created the EC2 instance. This answers our question, how was and who created that volume? Because we can see that the volume was initially created as part of this EC2 instance that was launched by the user. Now, the question you might be asking is, how this volume is still in the account if there are no more instances in this region? Shouldn't this volume be deleted with the instance? The answer is not necessarily. If this volume was created with the flag delete on termination equals false, then the volume won't be deleted even though the EC2 instance was terminated. But how can we confirm that? We can confirm that by using AWS config again and then looking for the information regarding this volume. Let me show you how. Navigate back to the AWS config console tab. In the configuration timeline page, select the appropriate date range. Expand the changes. Note the delete on termination is set to false. 
And now, you know how to find who created your eBay's volume and how they were created by using AWS Compact Service and AWS CloudTrail. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.